Okay, guys, so here is our goodness here. I'm going to finish it off with some of our garlic parmesan wing dust. We're going to just drizzle that on. And, guys, we are going to go ahead and prepare for our February Fun Fish Fridays. So, guys, definitely make this recipe. You know what it is. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. So you can know next time your LB comes over with a new video for you. So until next time, Tasty Tasters, it's always a pleasure. See you next time. And I'm just finishing this, guys, with some wing dust. So I'm about to go ahead, get ready for Fun Fish Fridays, guys. Make this recipe and join me. See you then. Until next time, Tasty Tasters, it's always a pleasure. what's up tasty tasters so today guys we're going to do my quick tempura battered cod so all you're going to need is some tempura, tempura batter mix i got this from my asian market you're going to need a sparkling drink sparkling water i use i'm using black cherry because i'm looking for that little added kick in the back okay you're going to need some seasoning, whatever seasoning you choose, slap your mama, whatever you want. You're going to use your seasoning blend. And then you're going to need some cod. I got this from my actual um, fishmonger. So there is, I only think I got like three or four pieces. Because we're doing this for our Fried Fish Fridays. February Fun fun Fish Fry Fridays. So guys, go ahead and grab your ingredients. Come on back. We're going to make this simple, quick, easy dish. Okay, so we have washed, rinsed my cod. We've cut them into chunks. So we're doing about two inch chunks on the fish. So I had three pieces. So I ended up um, getting approximately three, six. Um, I'm gonna cut that one in half and this one in half. So we're gonna end up with about 10 pieces, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and prepare our batter. Okay guys, so now we want to season our fish actually. Season it well. And I'm not going to tell you how much to use. I'm just going to say approximately about tablespoon, two tablespoons of seasoning. We're going to season this really well. Mix everybody up on the plate. And then we're going to let this sit at room temperature for about 10 15 minutes and let the seasoning kind of go in because you know cod is kind of a blank canvas okay okay now in our bowl here guys i have one cup of our tempura batter mix to that i added in i forgot to tell you guys this my parmesan garlic parmesan wing dust okay Guys, this stuff is so amazing. Wing dust by Cosmos is one of the greatest things that I have encountered and I've ran into lately. So anyway, we're going to mix this around. This is going to bring our flavor along with our seasoning blend, whatever we put on the actual fish. And then, guys, we're going to take our black cherry. Open it up here. We need one and one fourth cup of this. I'm going to pour this into a measuring cup. The reason why we're using um, seltzer water or sparkling water is because I want that fizz. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. You're going to see that fizz up. Mix your batter. And then I like to let my batter sit for about three to five minutes after I do all my mixing. Okay. So I'm going to mix this really well. As you can see, we're going to mix this really, really good. And then we're going to let this sit for about five minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and do our tempura. If your tempura is not as thick as you want it to be, then you can always add in a little bit more of the flour mixture to thicken it up. Okay? I'm going to add in about another fourth of a cup. Okay, guys. So now that I've let the batter sit for five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and drop my fish over in the batter. Like so. Just drop them in. And then we're going to let our fish sit in the batter for five minutes. And we're talking flavor, flavor, and more flavor. Okay. So we want to make sure that everybody's in the batter deep in there getting coated. 
and you just let it sit for five minutes so when the batter can adhere to this batter, okay? So you let it sit five minutes or so, and it's going to adhere, and then we're going to start frying off our fish. And my oil's not. Okay, our oil is nice and hot. So we want to go in with our with our beautiful cod. Guys, you can just kind of let it side to the side. Um, what I do want you to know is this is not thick like beer batter. It's thin and light. So you want to try to keep as much adhered to the fish as possible without losing all the batter, okay? Okay, guys, so here is our goodness here. I'm going to finish it off with some of our garlic parmesan wing dust. We're going to just drizzle that on. And, guys, we are going to go ahead and prepare for our February Fun Fish Fridays. So, guys, definitely make this recipe. You know what it is. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. So you can know next time your LB comes up with a new video for you. So until next time, Tasty Tasters, it's always a pleasure. See you next time. And I'm just finishing this, guys, with some wing dust. So I'm about to go ahead, get ready for Fun Fish Fridays, guys. Make this recipe and join me. See you then. Until next time, Tasty Tasters, it's always a pleasure.